keep this in mind again we've got an attachment here we haven't uh, clicked our permission we're just going to go ahead and send that off to our Shane Kim so now let's review what's going on behind the scenes and we're going to take a look at some of the transport rules that we've just been talking about and it all happens in uh, in the wizard familiar to anybody who's been using Exchange 2007 it's exactly the same uh, same wizard as you've seen before with a lot more granularity so let's go right to that middle. As you see up in the top here, we've, we've already talked about our moderation rule, but let's go right to the, um, the IRM protection rule, the transport protection rule, and show you how that, how that works. Pretty simple. So as you can see down below here, in this case, we've actually uh, applied the rule uh, in terms of conditions to uh, from mail sent from one DL to another DL, in this case legal, which you know, Arlene's a part of. Mm -hmm over to executives, and that's, that's our, our Shane Kim, our president. We're then going to apply, as you see here, rights, uh, rights protect messages uh, with, a, with the RMS template. This is one of our actions. And actually, if we drill down into that, you can see that we've got a, now a, um, a selection of three templates. In Exchange 2010, we've got two templates out of the box, uh, Do Not Forward, which everyone should be familiar with, with our RM protection. We've also got something called Internet Confidential, and uh, that's new to 2.10. Um, it gives all the rights of that mail to the recipient. They can send, receive, and copy. But what it does do is guard against interception of mail. So that's, that's a new one that we've introduced uh, in 2.10 uh, in, in terms of uh, in encryption. It actually encrypts that mail so that anybody, who, anybody who's attempting to intercept cannot do that using our, our uh, RMS uh, protection. And of course, we can add, uh, or an administrator can add any number of custom templates here as he needs to. So we'll cancel out of that because we've, we've created that. Uh, I think as, as I'm running through this, you can also see that the wizard uh, uh, remains very much the same in 2007. Uh, quite familiar, very easy to use with, again, a lot more granularity that extends even beyond IPC that uh, um, I urge people to really take a look at. Some good stuff here. So there's a rule essentially uh, created. Uh, talked about the moderation, uh, you do it through the same console, um, and so we'll, we'll cancel out of that. So now let's head back to uh, Shane's mailbox, our president, and I'll log in there. And sure enough, that mail that Arlene has forgotten to protect is now protected uh, within uh, Shane's mailbox. So one of the things about encryption is that it has the potential to hamper, again, productivity, in that if you're encrypting mail, uh, the question is how are, are we able to index that mail? Right. And this is another feature, key feature in Exchange 2010. We can actually, uh, through um, IRM search, uh, allow Exchange to decrypt that mail, index it, and allow it to be searched. So if we go back, we're going to plug in a query XYZ, as you recall, because not only can we search that mail, but we're going to search the encrypted attachment as well. And sure enough, when we put that in there, there it is. It pulls up the exact same mail. Again, those letters were embedded not within the actual email, but within the attachment itself. Yeah, so we can see we've got the encryption or the RMS icon on this mail. This was an encrypted message, but we're still able to search those attachments. Exactly. Cool. Really key for things like uh, electronic discovery, other compliance areas where mm -hmm. you're trying to search encrypted mail across the organization, and that, that allows that. And incidentally, this also works with our new multi-mailbox search console, where a, a compliance officer can go in and search all mail, including that encrypted, encrypted uh, mail, for discovery purposes. Cool. One other key feature here is uh, regarding journaling. Now, while we do have archiving features, new archiving features in Exchange 2010, we certainly haven't gotten the ability to journal mail. And, and what often happens is you're going to journal mail to a, an outside archive, a hosted archive. Uh, of course, the same problem with search uh, can be encountered with IRM protected mail, where uh, if they're encrypted, they can't be indexed. We've solved that problem with something called journal decryption. So in this case, we've actually created a journal mailbox. and uh, as you can see here, that mail has been recorded. And if you take a close look over here at the actual mail itself, you've got two attachments, one at, uh, uh, one at 50 and the other one at 22. The one here at 50 is the encrypted mail. 
And unless this mailbox was granted uh, privileges to that mail, we, we actually couldn't open that mail, but it, okay. it, is, it has been attached here. All right. Okay, so we're actually going to, uh, I'm going to try to close out of that. As you can see, that, that mail cannot be previewed. However, what journal decryption does is include a decrypted clear text copy as well along with the, uh, along with the uh, encrypted mail. And this, of course, is going to enable indexing and also searching by somebody who has rights to that mail, um, whether it be an e-discovery you know, e compliance officer, uh, that, kind of, that kind of thing. So similar to this, uh, with our uh, transport decryption, uh, we can also uh, decrypt to allow filtering, uh, uh, you know, anti-spam, anti-virus work, or any other content analysis on that mail. So not only have we really increased the ability to use IRM encryption to protect and guard against leakage, information leakage, but we've also done, it, done so in a way that all the other uh, functionality that you would want to do to that mail is not hampered with this general encryption. And that's it in a nutshell, essentially. Okay. IPC using uh, three different three really key uh, features. We have uh, we've got mail tips, we've got moderation, and then we've got uh, new transport decryption, along with the journal decryption, IRM search. Uh, together, they form a really good package to add more granularity to the whole concept of IPC. Okay. And I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be some some good stuff for users out there. And I encourage you to you know users to take a look at this stuff and, and download the beta and uh, and give it a try. All right. So this is cool stuff. It's all in 2010, out of the box. I don't pay extra for it. I can go check out the down uh, the beta now and, and start to evaluate it. That's right. You should also mention though. Uh, you'll also want to download the new version of uh, of Outlook 2010. Uh, Mail tips. It, it will not. It's not backwards compatible. So okay. make sure you've got that installed when you're working, on, working with a few of these features. Um, it, on, the, on the same note, though, uh, the features that I've showed you, particularly the IRM protection, is actually now available through OWA. Uh, so make sure you're using both when you're actually demoing this, because that's actually kind of a new, uh, it's a new feature, area, and it certainly opens up even more functionality to, uh, in, in OWA environments. Okay. Cool. So we've got web access plus the new Outlook client to, to take advantage of these new features. Exactly. Right. That's right. All right, this is good stuff, Colin. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Adam.